This is day 45 in the Gaza-Israel war and I'm Yair Pinto reporting to you from Israel. In the past 24 hours, the IDF revealed concrete evidence proving that Hamas used the Shifa Medical Center in order to hide Israeli hostages that were taken captive from Israel on the 7th of October. Moreover, it was proven that Hamas murdered one of the Israeli hostages called Noah Marciano. She was an Israeli IDF soldier. Hamas killed her as a revenge after one of the terrorists that kidnapped her was neutralized by IDF forces. <laughs> The IDF has revealed additional footage showing that Hamas terrorists entered the Shifa Medical Center using a military vehicle to deliver additional hostages to be kept inside the premises of the Shifa Medical Facility. Take a look of the map and see how Hamas is using the civilian infrastructure in the Gaza Strip that includes mosques, hospitals, kindergartens and schools in order to deepen its control of the Gaza Strip and to carry out terror attacks against Israel. Yet with all this proof, we hear the world calling Hamas fighters freedom fighters and calling on Israel to stop the massacre and the terrible things that we are doing to the civilian population in the Gaza Strip. These calls cannot be further from the truth. Israel is investing time, money and military efforts in order to deliver and move all the civilian population in the Gaza Strip out of harm's way. And I know this firsthand. It's very hard to fight in the Gaza Strip because Hamas is using the civilian population as human shields. We need your help in sharing the truth of what is happening in the Gaza Strip that sadly became the world's biggest terror hub since Hamas took control. The IDF needs to complete its mission and destroy Hamas and release our hostages before this evil spreads to the rest of the world. Please join us by supporting us and sharing the videos with whoever needs to hear because we need the truth to come out of Israel. And please keep our soldiers, our hostages, our families back at home in your prayers and pray for the peace of Jerusalem.